there's a mum in her late 20s and she came to a parent workshop and she sat quite quietly through the initial part of the session, shying away from any interaction. When we got to the part on being positive about maths, she suddenly opened up sharing a story of how her experiences had really held her down regarding maths until that day. And she told us how she'd been told by her parents that she just didn't get maths and that was okay. Then at a parents' evening, her teacher reflected this by saying she just wasn't a maths person and she should focus on other subjects as she wouldn't need maths in the kind of work she'd get. No way. All of this discussion was in front of her, but not really with her. I think that's just really a cruel way of doing it, isn't it? And just so unnecessary as well. I think, you know, I mean, the thing is we hear this a lot, Mm. you know, from people um, that either parents or teachers at school have had a kind of negative impact by some kind of throwaway comment. And quite often, um, you know, they they don't mean it to be. They might feel like they were giving them good advice. Yeah, it wasn't Um, meant to harm that person. Yeah, absolutely. And yet, you know, immediately that that, that negativity um, goes in as a young child. And then, you know, we've got so many stories and incidents where people are saying, um, how much those types of comments have impacted them in future life. And, of you know, th- this is what she's saying here, actually, isn't it? Yeah, well, I guess we talk quite a lot about maths baggage, don't yeah, we, absolutely. as a relationship manager? And I think that it's so easy for such a throwaway comment to be to be really destructive in someone's life yeah. um, and quite reductive for her as well, I would have thought. She would have thought, well, that's not me anymore and, and I don't need don't need to strive anymore. Well, this lady, so as a result, she shied away from maths in the intervening 10 to 15 years and had only attended the workshop because her daughter had asked her to. She was really anxious as she shied away from maths at every opportunity. But during the session, she opened up and felt was feeling optimistic at the end about helping her daughter to feel good about maths. So it's quite a happy ending. But um, I guess having the child... And really wanting to support her was her sort of turnaround moment, really, wasn't it? Well, I mean, there's lots going on there, isn't there? I mean, we quite often hear adults who got, you know, mass anxiety and had bad experiences in the past. Mm. Um, You know, as an adult, they won't re-engage with it. And that's, you know, a really difficult thing for adults to do. And quite often we find... um, that it's because they want to support the children that they're willing to put themselves through that pain because they don't want the children to have the same negative experiences that they had. So mm. absolutely fantastic that, you know, she pushed through that so she could help her daughter um, go to that session Um but, you know, the anxiety that she was feeling to actually have the courage to step into and go and, and almost feel a bit exposed in that session. And what's so lovely about those confidence with building sessions is once they actually, you know, once somebody actually pushes through, yeah. gets into the session, starts to realise that, you know, there might be another 10 people there actually expressing the same thing. And it gives yeah. you that safe kind of space and then you start to think oh maybe it is common maybe it's not just me you know yeah I imagine that that lady left the workshop with a big boost in her confidence and a bit of a spring in her step knowing that you know she felt that way but others felt that way too and it was okay to feel that way I think that's really important yeah absolutely and I think that's one of the key things it's that first step you know giving somebody that space just to express that um, they they are fearful of this um, and the positivity that comes out mm-hmm. of that, the experience that comes out of that to think, okay, maybe I could do it, yeah. maybe I could give it a go. Um, it's so powerful just in, you know, um, that one hour kind of session, if you like. I think a lot of people come into the workshops with quite a closed mindset of, I don't like maths, I'm not a maths person. And then during the course of the session with everyone else sharing their stories, like we just mentioned, I think they leave with a more open mind. So they don't have to spring off and suddenly sign up to do a maths course or, you know, become a maths whiz. But I think that it's the first step, isn't it, in 
in realising that maybe they can change their minds yeah. there. And that is absolutely fascinating. I mean, we did some, uh, we did a report on this a few years ago, um, and it was like moving somebody from I can't, mm-hmm. I won't go away, I hate you, to okay, I'll give it a go. And what and what's fascinating is you can do that in just one hour mm-hmm. confidence building session because yeah. it's giving people that opportunity and that safe space just to express how they feel about it and understand how common it is with every you know with with people um and that there's not something wrong with them you know it's not the maths gene they've not got um it is a really powerful first step 